that there's a battle going on for your generation. The devil's trying to take you down. But how many are ready to fight strong for the kingdom of God and you want to learn to be trained this weekend? It's time to let your voice be heard. Any of you guys got a voice? Back, but when the whole worship started, it was just awesome. And then I was looking down at everybody, and I was like, wow, God called all these people to come here. It was just awesome. We believe in creation and a creator who's creating new things as we speak. And in his image created, he we. So recreating is just part of our creed. is, have you burned your passport to the kingdom of the world and said, I'm yours. I'm in the kingdom of God. He, I'm asking him to be in charge of my life, every part of me. Uh, this year is actually supposed to bring a friend, but uh, she died before um, this year started. Haley Faulkner and her mother and uh, two other people, um, they were murdered by an ex-boyfriend. I was supposed to bring her this year, but uh, she didn't get a chance to come, but she was supposed to come this year with me. I just wanted to see what it was like because I came in last year, it was my first time. And I mean, I was pent up with anger from my dad. I mean, I was an abused child and abandoned. And I mean, I, I wanted to bring her here to show her how much it changed me, how much yeah. it meant to me. And I, I'm just so sad that she didn't get the chance to see it. Yeah. But I know she's in a better place, yeah. but I wanted her to come here. Yeah. And that's all I wanted for her, yeah. was just to see what it's like to be in a place like this where you don't know anybody, but everybody loves everybody. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see. Um, I'm a senior youth leader. I teach the junior high at my church, and I just, I, I struggle trying to show them how much um, this means to me. Yeah. And it, it's, it's a lot. It's, I just, I want them to feel that. And a lot of them struggle with um, some of them close to me with drugs and sex and alcohol and I just, this weekend has been a lot. I think you guys, one of the greatest opportunities that we have as followers of Christ is the chance to be Jesus to someone else. I take kids, they act like they're a Christian, then they go off and do something else. Mm. So I thought that's the way everybody acted. Mm. Well, coming here has just changed my heart. We dream a dream for God. It's like we're reflecting His light in a very dark world. I wonder what would happen if all of us just begin to dream God's dreams. If we dreamed God's dreams and then walked those things out, I wonder how much light would be reflected. So we're going to try something. Put it, put it down real quick. And on the count of three, in a very dark world, on the count of three, what I want you to do is I want you to jump to your feet, scream as loud as you can, hold your foil above your head, and just, just get a glimpse of what it might look like in this, ready, in this world. Ready? One, two, three! Jesus, use us to dream your dreams. Use us, God, to reflect your light. 
Use us to show in very dark world how great you are. Oh, Jesus, would you use every young person, every youth pastor, use us, oh God, to reflect the greatness, the greatness of your strength and your love in this earth. Make us the dreamers, oh God. In Jesus' name. Hopefully, if everything goes well, I'm going to go to the honor category in, uh, in August. Do it. Do it. Right me. now, I'm just like wanting to jump up and down. Yeah. I'm just like, whew. <laughs> Thank God. Whoa.